This is All India Radio, Shillong, the North East News Bulletin, read by Rahul Chatterjee. Teachers' Day was celebrated throughout the country yesterday. The day was celebrated on the birth anniversary of educationist and former President Dr. Sarvapalli Radhakrishnan. President Draupadi Murmu said that education is education in mother tongue is the cornerstone of inspiring talents in the fields of science, literature and social sciences and the National Ad- Education Policy 2020 puts focus on this aspect. She said this while conferring the national awards to 46 selected teachers on the occasion of Teachers' Day in New Delhi. The President said that the present age of knowledge economy is powered by research and innovation and teachers should encourage the development of curious minds. She said that teachers are the life force of Indian education, which is one of the largest education systems in the world, imparting education to more than 26 crore students in more than 15 lakh schools by about 97 lakh teachers. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has stressed on the need to imbibe the national education policy in such a way that this government document turns into the basis of the students' lives. Modi said, teachers have played a major role in the formulation of the policy and they have a monumental role to play in the implementation of the policy. Modi said this while interacting with the winners of the National Teacher Awards 2022 at his residence in New Delhi. During his interaction, the Prime Minister Modi highlighted the knowledge and dedication of teachers. He pointed out that their biggest quality is a positive outlook that enables them to work with students relentlessly for their improvement. Tripura Chief Minister Dr. Manik Shah yesterday met Prime Minister Narendra Modi in the Nash- in New Delhi ahead of the meeting between the Prime Minister of India and Bangladesh. Tripura Chief Minister apprised Prime Minister Modi about the current progress of various projects in health, education, commerce, infrastructural development and ongoing projects of central and state government. He also informed that the Prime Minister has assured to further extend the necessary assistance of the central government for the overall development of Tripura. Five Janata Dal United MLAs from Manipur have formally joined BJP in the presence of Party President J.P. Nadda in New Delhi. The JDU MLAs who joined the BJP are K.H. Joykishan, N. Sanate, Muhammad Achab Uddin, L.M. Khaute and Thangjam Arun Kumar. JDU won six seats in the 60-member State Assembly in the recently held Assembly elections, while the BJP secured a majority of 32 seats. Welcoming them into the party fold, Nadda said, all MLAs possess qualities that will greatly benefit the BJP. In a statement, Manipur Legislative Assembly Secretariat said that the merger of five JDU MLAs with the BJP under the 10th schedule of the Constitution has been accepted. Meghalaya joined the rest of the country in celebrating Teachers' Day with great fervour and exuberance, commemorating the birth anniversary of Dr. Sarvapalli Radhakrishnan, the former President of India, in a function held at U Sosotham Auditorium, Shillong. Education Minister Lakman Rimbui lauded the dedication of the teaching community of the state, particularly during the outbreak of COVID-19 pandemic, where teachers played a tremendous role in reaching out to the students through technology. The minister said that it was not easy for teachers to transform formal classroom teaching to online teaching, yet with their hard work, they were able to overcome all these hardships in providing the best services to the students. And Northeastern University yesterday signed nine MOUs with different institutes and industries on the occasion of Teachers' Day. Meghalaya Governor Satyapal Malik, who was also present on the occasion, lauded the efforts of the teachers to impart knowledge to students, even as he added that Nehu has made great strides in the field of education. And with that, we end the Northeast News Bulletin, which came to you from All India Radio. Shalom. Have a nice day.